We're going to switch things up a little bit on this vlog. We've had lots of great questions from uh, people out there. And we made a list and thought we'd read some of them and uh, share the answers with you so everybody could benefit. It's kind of like when you're out somewhere and somebody asks a question in an audience and we all don't hear the question. But here you're going to hear the question and the answer. And if you have a question, please send us a message and let us know. Uh, and we'll try to answer that for you. Yep. Okay. Going right down the list here. Oh, and by the way, we, we always talk about the wonderful people we meet. We met some more neighbors today. I have met about five guys named Jerry. Okay, now that's a lot of Jerry's. That's the age group, I guess. You know, 60 years old age group, a lot of Jerry's. There are way more Lindas than Jerry's. There are Lindas everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere I see. In our block, we have... Oh, we have three or four in our block that I know. And I know the Home Depot lady, the church greeter lady, and there was one at... Uh, Let's see, where was it? Linda. It's, it's just, everywhere, the, everywhere. just the age group. But anyway, so we're going to read you the names of these people. There are lots of Jims. There are lots of Johns. Lots of Terrys. Lots of Jerrys. So here we go. Jim asks, how are the villages in peak season? Because if you read or watch talk of the villages or uh, next door or some of these uh, places out there where you can get information, you hear about the complaints about traffic and about golf reservation times and about activities at the recreation centers being full because of the peak season. And I think we're just now getting into the peak season. Okay. So I'll give you a few examples. We went to ukulele club the other day. That was really fun. We'll put some uh, video on here about that uh, on another one. But uh, they allow 125 people. They had too many people. They had to turn people away. Mm -hmm. So they did it again later in the day. But some people were disappointed. Uh, in golf, when you make a golf tee time, and we're going to do a whole separate blog about that, you call in and list the times that you want to play. You have to give them a block of times because so many people want to play. And there are 52, I believe there's 52 golf courses here. Lots of golf can be played here, and there's a, a big demand. So it is crowded during peak season. It's not too crowded on the roads. I mean, uh, sometimes you get into some traffic. Uh, I've heard that some people don't like the favorite restaurants being uh, full when they go to eat, but uh, we haven't really experienced all that. The only experience we have is with the uh, ukulele club being pretty full. Uh, we haven't had any problems with, uh, with traffic and all that sort of thing. So in peak season, I couldn't tell you except from my own experience from a month and what, month and uh, a week or two. All right, John writes in, what kind of house do we have? We live in a design, a designer home, and our home is called the Aspen. And in this neighborhood, there are lots of homes, uh, begonias, lilac, gardenias, lilies. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're named after flowers and trees, but we live in the Aspen and we like it a lot. You can go on the uh, Villages website, and if you do a home search, and I'm sure a lot of you people have searched for homes, you can plug in the home site that you like. We don't personally think there's a whole lot of difference between a begonia and a, a gardenia and a lily and a lilac and an aspen. Yes. They're all, they all have a lot of similar features, but there are little subtle differences, and uh, you can look at the home plan you like. Yeah. We did not search out a particular home plan. We just looked at houses, and uh, we liked the one we got, yeah. and it's an aspen. What village do we live in? Well, we live in the bigger area. We live between the villages of Charlotte and Hillsboro in a village called Dunedin. It's near Lake Deaton. Very quiet, peaceful village here. We, we think we made a really good choice. Of course, our, our uh, realtor, Steve Lightbody, will tell you that everybody thinks they live in the best village. Yeah. But we, we really do. <laughs> Scott says, tell me about the decisions you made in choosing your house plan and village. Well, Scott, like I just said, we didn't really choose the Aspen. No, we just came across it. And the we Aspen wanted, chose us, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. We yeah. wanted three bedrooms, two baths, and space. It's about we had a bigger house where we came from. Feet. Yeah. Probably 2,700 square feet, not counting a big enclosed porch and a basement. Right. 
uh, and we had car spaces for five vehicles. Um, but we're really happy with what we got down here. We didn't come down here looking for a bigger home. We looked for a smaller home. We were downsizing, like we said in our one of our earlier videos. And uh, as far as picking the village, we found the house online that we liked. And, and so again, that house not only picked the house for us, it picked the village too. John wants to know, where did we buy our second golf cart? Well, we, we negotiated with the homeowners when we bought this house and we had them include a golf cart. And it's a nice one. It's a 2015 Yamaha gas uh, fuel injected golf cart. And um, it did have Penn State stickers on it, but I'm going to try to take care of that. Uh, then she needs her own golf cart. If I go out to play golf or if I go to play ukulele or whatever I go do, Although she's my ukulele buddy now, we're yeah, playing ukulele. Fun. She's gonna be. She's very musical. I'm not. I'm not musical at all. This is like, you know. No, but uh, the second golf cart, we looked and looked and looked, and we didn't want to spend that much. You know, because you, like I said in an earlier video, you can spend for a good golf cart between five and ten thousand dollars. But the thing with Linda, she needed something special because the first cart I got is a good one. Her feet hardly reached the pedals. No. <laughs> she was on her tippy toe trying to give it gas. So they sell a foot extender, and we got that. Yeah. But still not great. But the next one, we found a beautiful yellow golf cart that had adjustable seats just like your car. And she can let that seat up, and it's perfect for yeah. her. Yeah, and, and the seats go back and forth, so and that was awesome. Yeah. In the back. Uh, you, can, you can do a lot with it. And the windshield... Uh, a typical golf windshield has a line across the middle, which hit her right about there. Oh, yeah, I couldn't see. So anything. she couldn't see very well. <laughs> this one doesn't. So uh, so that's why we, we bought it from an individual. Yeah. We uh, They have some things here, Talk of the Villages. There's a classified section. You can find lots of, mm -hmm. of things for sale there. And there are the golf carts by the hundreds on there. Mm -hmm. And there's one called Next Door, uh, another uh, application you can get for your phone that tells you things in your immediate area. And uh, this cart was on one of those. I can't remember which one. I think Next Door was the one it was on. Mm -hmm. And we went and drove it and looked at it. And uh, she fell in love with it. And she loved the seats. So that's where we bought it, from an individual. Oh, let me tell you how nice that guy was. He wasn't home. The realtor was showing his house. He was out of town in Arkansas or someplace, Arizona. And he, uh, we talked to the realtor, and we loved the golf cart. And we, the realtor got on the phone, called the guy, and the guy said, sure, take it for a ride. So we did. Came back. We said we'd love it. We'd want to buy it. And um, he said, well, write me a check. We did. Put it in the mail. We took it home and then wrote him a check. I mean, hello? We didn't even see this guy. <laughs> well, she's, she, the astonishment is because he said, go ahead and take it home. Yeah. And he was in uh, Myrtle Beach at the time, I think. And he said, just write us a check and send it. So... So we had his golf cart, and uh, it's all done now. I see the check cleared the bank, so yeah. we're all good with him. But uh, <laughs> but very one. trusting, and that's, we found a lot of people like that down here. Super trusting. All right. Shelby writes in, what was your experience in setting up your utilities? Well, Shelby, that was a concern of ours because when you come down here, a lot of times people assume that you know what you're doing, and we didn't know what we were doing, <laughs> and we didn't know how we would get the bill, would they mail it to us? Uh, is it electronic, whatever, but it is. It's, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty simple. You can do it all. We opted to, uh, uh, before closing, we got a list from our realtor that told us what companies to call. And about two weeks before closing, we set up all our utilities. And then on the closing day, they switched into our name. Mm -hmm. And then after we moved in, we didn't get a bill and we're wondering, you know, are we paying for these things, et cetera. And uh, eventually we, did get a bill and we were able to set everything up on electronic transfer so right. so we pay everything that way but no problems at all pretty seamless mm -hmm. moved over and uh, we were super pleased this house the utilities are less than half what we were paying in indiana mm -hmm. so that was a, a nice surprise because a lot of things down here are more expensive but the utility is not uh shelby also asked did you get a local bank before you got here and nope we didn't, and we love our home bank at home. We bank at a at a local institution that's run by people we know. We know I know the president, I know the vice president, I know the loan officers, and so we've kept all our accounts up there. But we did open an account here. Citizens Bank has probably twenty branches. I don't know. I'm, I'm making that number up here in the villages, 
And uh, we thought that would be a good place. If we get checks, we can go get them cashed because we'll have an account there. So we started a small account in the Citizens Bank. Now, later we went there to buy a CD because they had really good CD rates. But uh, we're going to keep our home banks for now, our home bank for now. All right, Alan says, this was funny. We, we have to travel to get our mail. We travel two minutes by golf cart to get it. And he noticed on the video that there were stickers all over the mailboxes. You know, life is good. Uh, smiley ours, faces or Smiley whatever. faces. Ours had the Penn State sticker. He said, how hard is it to remember a four-digit number? Well, <laughs> remember this is a retirement community, Alan. <laughs> we don't it's, remember four digits. It's getting harder and harder. So uh, they'll give you keys. To they give you a couple keys to your mailbox, and you take those there and... Uh, and you will forget your key when you go get the mail sometime. You'll be in the yes. wrong car or the wrong golf cart or whatever, and you won't have a key. But they'll give you two keys. But then they have, I don't know how many, hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of mailboxes. Mm -hmm. So it's just easy to spot. Uh, but it's four less numbers that we have to uh, try to remember. Yes. Although I do know it. Do you know it? No. I do. <laughs> I look for okay. the sticker. <laughs> John says, are you concerned about the process of finding a new doctor? Uh, yeah, I am. I we have not found we one. Haven't, we haven't really looked. We haven't. Uh, you know, that's human nature. You know, we don't shut the barn door until the horse gets out. But we haven't needed a doctor. and uh, We generally stay pretty healthy, but we need to find one. And we need to know. I have no idea where the hospital is or the no. any er, emergency uh, care. What do you call it? Urgent care. Urgent care. But, yeah, we need to uh, find a doctor. So. We are concerned, and we are working on that, especially to find one that takes our insurance. Okay, Jim writes. He says he noticed that, uh, oh, this Jim noticed our Nittany Lion sticker on the mailbox and wanted to know if we're from Pennsylvania. Nope, we are not from Pennsylvania. We are from the Louisville, Kentucky area. And the IU Hoosiers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the IU Hoosiers are from our area. Yeah, we're actually on this what they call the sunny side of Louisville is where we are from. Just the other side of the river from Louisville. Kevin. Oh, here, look at this. Kevin is from Louisville. That's how they say it there, Louisville. <laughs> and he wants to know more about the moving process. Well, Kevin, if you're watching this, you are lucky because the movers that we used are from Louisville. Yeah, we used Margaret's Movers, and, yes. and they did a fantastic oh, job. Really great. Uh, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. The, mm -hmm. the movers were great. The driver was great. The timing was perfect. Margaret came to our house and made sure we had enough uh, enough truck reserved to haul. Yeah, the, uh, she stuff. estimated how many boxes we would need and everything. She was She's not the only one we got an estimate from. We had other estimates, but uh, Margaret did a nice job for us, and I would recommend them without reservation, although you have to make a reservation. <laughs> See what I did there? I did. That was good. <laughs> Andrea says, give us tips. Oh, no, she gave us tips on shooting videos. Andrea, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, you're not seeing too much neck. Or My own son said, Dad, what's with uh, shooting where you can see up your nose? So uh, <laughs> uh, we don't want to do that anymore. But thank you for all the criticism, Andrea and uh, son. Uh, Vince, he wanted to compare the villages to other developments like Top of the World. We haven't been to top of the world. Mm -hmm. Although when we came down here, we weren't coming here, were we? We were going to the airport, maybe? No. No, we were going to see uh, Stonecrest by Del yes. Webb. Yes. It's near Ocala. We yes. actually had a lifestyle experience set up there. And the more I researched and the more we, uh, that I saw, everything is always being compared to the villages. So we did a lot of research, and we found out that Everybody likes Top of the World. It's a nice place, too. But there's nothing like the villages. Stone Creek is fantastic. They have one golf course and one restaurant, though. And it may have changed since then, but that's all they had at that point. Here, you've, you have over 100 restaurants and, like I said, 52 golf courses. There are clubs, clubs, and more clubs. There are apps. The village has their own newspaper. You know, this is just a really exciting place to be and. uh, uh to compare, I don't think anything else is really going to compare closely to the villages. John wants to know what was your, you and your wife's occupation. We were both school teachers. We had over 30 years in and we retired um, back in 2011. Gosh, 
I taught yeah. kindergarten and first grade. I'm a social studies teacher. Taught a little bit of a lot of things over the years, but uh, that's when I retired. I, for the last 20 years or so, I had taught uh, social studies. And coached every sport, almost. Carol wants to know, what kind of dog is Gizmo? Gizmo is a wiener dog. He's a dachshund. Uh-oh, I think Gizmo's going to make an appearance. His first appearance on, oh, he is. on our blog. There he is. That's Gizmo. He's a dachshund. He's nine years old. He's got a birthday coming up March 1st. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a very good dog. Yes. Right. That's a whole other blog, though. You know, we mentioned it before, but you know, down here, you yeah, know, you we're from Indiana, dog? people. We don't pick up poop in Indiana. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we, if we took him out in public, we would pick it up. I mean, but here, you know, everywhere you go, you've got to take the little plastic bone and the little plastic bags and put your hand in there and reach there and grab that okay, hunk of steaming. <laughs> All right. Dusty says, how did your finances go when you moved to the villages? Well, uh, <laughs> we don't really know yet. No. You set aside money to move and uh, it's all gone. <laughs> and then some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It costs more than we thought it would. But I think we're going to be all right. When we, we don't have, uh, we have a fixed income now. So we'll see. Uh, I'll repeat that question in six months. How's that? And <laughs> if we're still doing this, you know, this is a blog about being new to the villages, but uh, we're having fun with it and fun with the people we're meeting and talking to just like John and yeah. uh, Carol and Dusty. Oh, he's Dusty also wants to know, why are the post office boxes so far away? Two minutes by golf cart. It is way different for us. We used to have it right at the end of our driveway everywhere we've ever lived. I don't like going to get it, but we took a walk last night. We've been taking walks. Flat streets, man, Indiana, you don't have any flat streets. Uh, the dogs are all controlled here. Uh, the traffic is so much better to walk. Um, it's two minutes. So we walk two minutes, or, or, or it's it's two minutes by golf cart. It's probably a 12 minute walk, you think, something like that. But we remarked on the way back how beautiful this, these neighborhoods are, and they don't have mailboxes. There isn't a row of mailboxes and, and litter and, you know, newspaper boxes and things like that. It's just so nice not to have that. You and pay no, for it by and the And no trip. garbage cans. We can have a blog on that, too. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> one yeah. It's, it's so nice not to have any garbage cans out in, in the mailboxes. And this place has a really clean, manicured look. I like to compare it to people saying it, it feels like I'm in Disneyland. All the landscaping. and the, yes. It's just beautiful here. Oh. <laughs> Elizabeth says, are the villages a good place for single people? Elizabeth, I don't know. Um, <laughs> no. But... The lady across the street is single. She is one of the busiest people we've ever seen. Oh, She's God. into something morning, noon, and night. And there are lots of clubs and organizations. We see them on the on the list of activities yes. for singles. For singles yes. So uh, I think that it is a good place for single people. Mm -hmm. I think the women do outnumber the men here. Yes. There's a lot of widow <laughs> women down here in the villages. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, I think it's a good place for, for any kind of person. Uh, Shelby asked another question. She said, "If she asked if we have been act, uh, active, if we become active in other activities besides golf. Well, besides the golf, I mean, uh, we've gone to ukulele. I'm going to try bocce this week. And what I what did is bongo, that? So I don't I, even know what bocce is. You know. I think you you roll a ball. It's like croquet without the paddles, maybe, without the, the sticks. Maybe I don't know. I'll find out. Bocce. I want to try." Uh, uh, we got to do pickleball 101. You have to do a course before yeah. you get in any leagues. You have to, it's a prerequisite. You have to go to school here to play <laughs> pickleball. So we want to do that. She's going to do genealogy. Um, I want to do card making, like stamping, stamping yeah. cards. So we, we're becoming more active every day. That calendar, by the way, on the Village's website, you don't have to be a, a resident here to download that. You can look at it. You can see under uh, calendar. Go to calendar. And it'll say, what do you want to see, a day or two days or a week? Put down a month, and it will show you every meeting for the next month. And they see they're held at the rec centers and the, mm -hmm. the pools and the areas. And you can see, and you can uh, have, put in a keyword. Let's say you wanted to do bingo. They'll show you where all the bingo is in the next month, and you can plan it, put it on your calendar. Pretty cool. All right. Julie says, what made you decide on the neighborhood that you moved into? Well, Julie, like I said, we didn't... Uh, we didn't decide on that. It kind of decided for us. We picked the house. We loved the house, mm -hmm. and, and then we moved here. 
So I think that's going to do it for this batch of questions. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll do it on the next one, but uh, we're having a good time here. The weather today, oh, this whole week, uh, is amazing. I know it's not going to always be amazing. No. You know, but it is amazing, especially when we hear that our old hometown is possibly going to receive six or eight or ten inches of snow tonight. Oh. It feels good to be here. So, so we're enjoying it. We hope we answered some of your questions. We'll be glad to answer more. Just let us know, and uh, yeah. I guess that'll do it for us. Y'all take care, and uh, we'll we'll catch you next time. See you later.